supply chain disruptions. Um, Trevor Alt starts us off at one of our nation's ports in Bayonne, New Jersey. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning, Michael. So overnight, the Treasury Secretary is reassuring Americans the supply shortages should be temporary, and there's no reason to panic about getting your holiday presents. But right now, this is a crisis. And this morning, the White House is meeting with top executives from some shipping companies and the heads of some of America's largest ports to try to get things moving. This morning, a crisis brewing in the American supply chain, pressure mounting to unload those massive container ships sitting idle in Southern California ports, seen here from the chopper of our station, KABC. Workers here at the port are now working around the clock to empty as many ships as possible. These stacks of containers are continuing to mount along the port. Samsung and UPS announcing they'll be working around the clock to try to help end the backlog and get those goods moving across the country in time for the holidays. The cost of using shipping containers soaring up nearly 300% this year, exponentially increasing the price retailers pay just to get their goods from Asia to the U.S. From workers on the dock to truck drivers, each piece of the supply chain is strained and struggling to find enough workers. There's not one easy fix that's available. We need to invest in those blue collar jobs that continue to move our goods across the supply chain. All that pressure is leading to higher costs for consumers. Diaper prices up nearly 9%, clothes up 4.2%, new cars up 7.6%, meat prices up nearly 9%, and eggs up nearly 10% from a year ago. And another facet of this problem is the fact the pandemic has led more people to shop online than ever before. Plus, now companies are encouraging people to shop early, which has created an even larger backlog. And on the supply side, there is an enormous shortage of computer chips, which just this morning has reportedly led Apple to slash their projections for the iPhone 13 by as many as 10 million units. George. Lots of issues mounting up. Okay, Trevor, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.